Hello everyone, it's time to take the textual part of a poem from our literature reader, New Broadway. Question number one from the part understand. Say this city has 10 million souls. In this line, the poet uses the word souls instead of people because he is referring not just to the physical being but also to the emotional self. Is this sentence true or false? So the answer is true. Question number two, some are living in mansions, some are living in holes, yet there is no place for us, my dear, yet there is no place for us. Explain the contrast in lines. The answer is, the poet says that some people are very rich and stay in mansions, while some are very poor and stay in hole. But he says there is no place for the refugees. Means in the city, uh, both riches and poor are living, but there is no place for the outsider in this city. Question number three. Once we had a country and we thought it fair. Look in the atlas and you will find there. We cannot go there now. Pick out the word and phrases which suggest that the couple once belonged to a country but cannot return it. The phrases look in the atlas and you will find it there and we cannot go there now. Point out the couple once belonged to a country they can't return now. And the reason they uh, couldn't return to your, their country because they are not having their passport or their old passport has already expired. In question number four, some lines from the poem has been given. In the village churchyard there grows an old yew, every spring it blossoms anew. Old passports can't do that, my dear, old passports can't do that. Question number one from these lines, what does the yew tree do every spring? The answer is the yew tree blossoms every spring. Next question, what is the implication of the word anew? The word anew suggests something which turns new over and over again. The poet says that the yew tree blossoms every spring. So here, yew tree has given as a symbol of uh, returning the pleasures and happiness again and again. Means it shows that uh, the sadness and grief is not uh, permanent. It will definitely turn uh, into the happiness one day. Next question, explain the connection between the yew tree and passports. The answer is, the yew tree was there in the village churchyard in the country from where the couple belonged. The yew tree blossoms every spring unlike their old passports which cannot be used anymore. So there is a contrast given um, between both of the objects. Like yew tree, it's a, a renewable thing, means it can um, uh, be there every year in their um, country but as far as their passports is concerned that has already expired and it cannot be renewed. Question number five pick out two lines from the poem to show how rude the officials were to the refusee couple. The following lines from the poem show how rude the officials were to the refusee couple. If you have got no passport you are officially dead means according to the officers they are dead because they are not having any kind of existence because their passports have expired so here we can see that non-living thing has more importance than the living being Question number six, if we let them in, they will steal our daily bread. Again, one line from the poem has been taken. And first question from this line, who says these words? The answer is the speaker of the public meeting says these words. So there is a meeting going on about the arrival of this, these refugees. And uh, the people of that country was having a type of insecurity that these uh, coming outsider will definitely demand the share from their own food. Next question, who does uh, them refer to? These refusees are referred to as them. Question number C, what does this tell us about people's attitude to refugees? The answer is the people's attitude towards the refugees was that of mistrust. They never wanted to include the refugees in their society. So uh, here clearly we can see the negligence of the human towards 
the another human means if the outsider uh, if any of the outsider from any other country is coming to just ask the shelter then besides giving them shelter food or uh, any other kind of help they uh, were regarding them as unsafe meaning for their country Question number seven from the part info in stanza seven and eight. The man in why is the freedom that fish and birds enjoy? What kind of freedom does the man want? The answer is the fish could swim about freely. The birds in the trees did not have politicians around them and could sing freely. The man wants to be allowed to go back to his native land. So here, uh, fishes and birds are allowed to live anywhere. Nobody is there uh, who can control on them. They can live. uh in any of the country according to their choice they have the kind of freedom but as far as man is concerned they need identification of a particular country to prove them that uh, of being a native uh, of a particular country question number 8 which line in the poem suggests that the refugee couple had no proper place to stay the following line suggests that the refugee couple had no proper place to stay but where shall we go today my dear but where shall we go today refugee couple were uh, very depressed because uh, they were not able to find any of the place to take shelter at that night and that's why this line has been included in the poem Question number nine from the part reflect. How would you describe the tone of the poem? Do you think it is sad, nostalgic, resentful? Give reasons. The answer is blues are the melancholic songs which uh, sing of uh, grief and misery, and the complete poem is full of a kind of sadness. So the tone of the poem is sad because it depicts the sadness of the refugee couple in an outside country. it cannot be resentful uh, because resentful means angry so the people of the host country uh, were angry with the arrival of refugees but they were not centralized in that poem and uh, nostalgic is called homesickness so yes though the couple were uh, feeling uh, homesickness they wanted to go back to their country but uh, they were unable to use their old passport so till some extent the a uh, tone of the poem uh, uh, shows you a kind of homesickness but the complete uh, poem is based on a type of grief and sorrow so we can say since starting to the end the poem is depicting a kind of sadness that's why the suitable tone for this poem will be sad Question number ten from the part appreciate in the refrain the man repeatedly says my dear to his wife because sentence A she is very dear to him or sentence B he wants to comfort and reassure her we have to choose the correct answer and the correct answer is option number B he wants to comfort and reassure her because she was feeling a type of insecurity um, in being at a uh, foreign country. Question number eleven. There is a refrain at the end of each stanza. Why do you think the poet uses this? What effect does it have on the reader? The answer is the poet uses the refrain to emphasize the harsh treatment given to refugees in a foreign country. He tells us of the pain which the refugees face. So we can imagine uh, the condition of the refugees. Me means uh, we um, can be at the place of refugee sometime if you are not having shelter in your country. country and you want to take shelter in any foreign country and if uh, the rude and uh, rough behavior of that country people um, will be there then definitely you will feel emotionally hurt with that treatment last question from the part extension of this poem though the poem refuse blues is about to people at a particular time in the past the thoughts and feelings in the poem are relevant to situations in many parts of the world today there are many refugees in the world who have no country that they can call their own when they are driven into another country they feel alienated and lost though the government concerned provides food and shelter the refugees feel unwanted and miserable 
discuss uh, this thing in the groups and write down five things that the government can do to make the refugee feel more comfortable and at home so here, here you have to give your idea that what uh, the government of a particular country can do for the refugees who are uh, arriving in their own country so some pointers are government can provide uh, shelter to them it can make the arrangement of employment for them so that they can earn for their livelihood then uh, they should have the access to food and clean water but because these are the basic necessities uh, to live somewhere and uh, they can have the uh, protection of their human rights as well even after being in a foreign country so with this we have completed all the question answer of this poem that's it for now i'll see you in the next video